Welcome everyone to another edition of the Russell Cage Experience and this is my review for WWE Judgment Day 2008 and I mean disappointing on, on WWE's part here uh, for this pay-per-view by far the worst pay-per-view of the year um, it just felt like they threw stuff together didn't really put a lot of thought um, or even a lot of uh, excitement into this um, I know going into the pay-per-view the only three matches I was really looking forward to was the two world title matches and the HBK versus Y2J match um, kind of wanted to see Miz and Morrison but wasn't overly excited about it so I mean uh, by far worst WWE pay-per-view of 2008 so far but what do you expect when you know they got what they got and I mean and what makes it even worse is two more weeks and they're going to be having one night stand so just think of how much time they're going to have to put that together and how crappy it's probably going to be too you know um, I mean I, I think they had longer to build up for this pay-per-view than they do for one night stand so but they really don't care about the ECW product anyway so you know I'm kind of expecting a, a crappy pay-per-view I'm glad that I go down to beat ups and watch it for all I really have to do is order something to drink if I want um, and get there and sit and watch it so what, pay what two three dollars to watch a forty dollar pay-per-view fifty dollars if you watch an HD so anyway on to the task at hand uh, first match tonight was seen on JBL and really uh, myself along with Dylan and Jonathan and Kara and them we really didn't and uh, Jen and, and my buddy Jeremy we really didn't sit there we sit there and talked for the most part and didn't really pay attention to the match um, one we knew Cena was going to come out with the win here and I mean two it was just a boring match altogether um, I'm actually kind of surprised that they opened up the show with this match I was expecting either for them to open up with a tag team title match or the women's title match but uh, they didn't so uh, we got stuck with a boring John Cena JBL match uh, so after this we had Miz and Morrison versus Kane and Punk and I really didn't see CM Punk and Kane getting the victory here uh, Miz taking a pretty nasty looking choke slam on the outside um, and Kane not getting back in uh, to break up the pin on CM Punk here and CM Punk uh, I believe the WWE review guys mentioned this has not been getting victories here lately and he's the money in the bank winner you'd think they'd try to be pushing him but you know what can you expect with ECW uh, then the next match by far match of the night for me uh, Y2J versus HBK um, HBK getting the victory here and these two are great athletes no matter what type of match they've had together it's always been a good match and I mean and it's mainly because one they're great athletes and I mean two they're great uh, they have great personas um, and uh, I mean I'm kind of sad to see the storyline end so abruptly and the way it ended with HBK saying he, he faked the injury Monday night all that stuff um, so HBK getting the victory here nice show of respect at the end of the match with uh, the handshake I, I enjoy seeing that so um, match tonight goes to HBK versus Y2J uh, singles match so uh, next match we have is the women's triple threat uh, women's title match Mickey James versus Beth Phoenix versus Melina and Mickey James getting the victory here this was a, a decent match uh, Melina's getting better with her uh, in-ring wrestling so uh, but Mickey and, and Beth probably carry the match for me uh, Mickey James coming out with the victory here next match we had was Edge versus Undertaker good match okay good match a uh, lot of lot of nice spots in there 
horrible finish. Horrible booking on WWE's part. Um, Undertaker wins by countout, and then Vicky Guerrero comes out, and I was seriously looking for forks around the table so I could jab them in my ear. And the funny part about it is, and, and Dylan mentioned this while we was there, nobody was wanting to let Vicky Guerrero talk. And thank you, fans there uh, at the Judgment Day pay-per-view for keeping her shut up as much as possible. Uh, but basically, once Undertaker won by count out, they handed in the title. I knew that something big had to be going down because, one, you cannot win a title via count out or disqualification. You have to win it by pinfall or submission. Um, so the title is still vacant, so no doubt we're going to see another Edge versus Undertaker match at uh, either One Night Stand or I believe Great American Bash is after uh, this one, so, uh, after One Night Stand. So um, we'll see how that goes. Um, but they do a good job wrestling against each other, but uh, maybe add somebody new into the mix. Excuse me, it's, it's late. I'm doing this as soon as I got home from the pay-per-view, so I'm a little tired. Um, anyway, Undertaker gets victory. Title's still vacant. So throw somebody like Umaga in there. Throw somebody like Big Show in there. Um, you know, something like that, anything. Um, then we got a match which I was expecting to be good because these two are two more great athletes of the coming MVP versus Jeff Hardy and it seemed that they really wouldn't put any effort in their match either and it it really disappointed me so uh, Jeff Hardy getting the victory after a whisper in the wind um, guys really needed to step up this match uh, that, that's all there is to it and finally we had Triple H versus Randy Orton for the world title uh, Triple H getting the victory here by pinfall uh, with the pedigree um, I was expecting once again Triple H to get the victory here um, I really wasn't expecting any titles really to change hands um, the only one and this could be argued is the Smackdown title world title uh, changing hands if you want to call it that um, so uh, Triple H getting the victory here in Randy Orton this was, this was another pretty good match um, but uh, once again, match tonight goes to Y2J and HBK, so um, overall I'd give the pay-per-view a 1.5 out of 5 stars. Uh, WWE needs to really start stepping up things for their company if they're wanting to keep the fans, uh, the, the regular fans that they've had before. You know, they, they need to not drop the ball. Um, they need to do something big for the one-night stand pay-per-view. Uh, get our attention again so um, guys that's my review I'll be uh, watching Raw tomorrow so I'll have a review for it up also um, so hope you guys have had a great weekend uh, post your thoughts in the comments below um, rate the video subscribe if you like what you see and uh, hope you guys have a good night good day depending on when you uh, watch this so take it easy good night